Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Little Women Atlanta, Season 4, Episode 5, Skinny Men. And let's jump on into it, shall we? Let's start with Skinny Men. And so, Manny feeling like a failure from the 5K. She not completing that. She ain't even must start it off right, though. But we start from now. We heard she want to go under the knife, get arm um, surgery done. She first explained it to her mother, I think, first. No, she has plenty to, I think, her mother, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, though, it started with her mama. Her mama, not supportive at all, not there for her, not trying to comfort her, um, give her daughter confidence, not trying to ease her out of it or trying to help her out in no shape or form. And I found many in her, her mama relationship very awkward. It's weird and... You there for your daughter. I give you that one. But when it comes to the emotional support, being there for your daughter, standing up for your daughter, well, you do stand up for your daughter, being there at a support system, um, I forgot what I call you, but me and mama, you just need to shut the fuck up. That's what you need to do, guys. You not there for me, and you might be there when somebody bullying her or whatnot. Good, I'm happy you there for her, her for that when that type of need. But when it comes to some emotional support, hearing your daughter out, seeing your daughter going through this, she already feel like a failure about not finishing the 5K and now she want to go through with this plastic surgery. It's like you found the worst word possible or say the wrong things possible that make me want to cringe and make me want to punch you in the head. I'm just like, what is coming out your mouth? Uh, what's her name? Tanya Cora, whatever her damn mama name is. Mini mama. I don't know what the fuck wrong with you all. You might need to go go talk to somebody about being a little bit more supportive towards your daughter. She older than me. I'm 32. Men about should be about 35, right, if I'm not mistaken. Even if she do agree or not agree to go with this surgery, you think you can stop her? That's her body. She feel the way she feel. Her money. You technically can't stop her even if you try you can try to talk her out of it like normal mamas would do. Like, be there for her. Give her the guidance. Talk to her nicely, perhaps. Be a supporting role besides being up, being an asshole when it comes to her being bullied. And I, I'm like, man and mama, you is on some other shit. And I don't know how you and your daughter relationship go on. What type of relationship y'all got, but me and mom, you need to learn to talk to your daughter much more um better than what you do, because I cannot and will not with you. Now let's go on over to messy ass Sam ass for now. With well, her messy ass, she was messy the whole episode, but we finna get to it. Now, messy Sam, many look up to you. She trusts you. She was nice enough to help. Let you in her life a little bit because she thought you was a friend and you was cool or whatever. She went and decided she wanted to go along with this. I think she talked to you about the, the surgery too and you was there for her, which I give you props for. Then I want to put my foot up your behind because you went there. You talked, asked her about the risk of doing this. What's the risk? Is there any procedures like... Then she found out when she did go to the doctor with you that she going to have to have lipo and all or tummy tuck along with this. And yeah, that's a lot for her to go through. Granted, it's a lot and she can like something can go wrong or whatever, though. Now, what you fuck me up with this part is that. Yeah, you was there for there. Yeah, you was there to support her going through this. Um going through this consultation of her talking about getting the surgery if she wanted to go along with the... Now, what prompts your big grown ass to go tell this girl mama this? It's like, I trusted you enough as a friend calling you a friend. You go behind my back and invite me to your damn house. You go get my big bull of a China shop mama. Bring her to your house to have some type of intervention trying to stop my 34-year-old grown ass from getting the surgery that I want. 
And as for you, I, I still don't get figured out that one my mama name yet. I don't know her name. Boy in the China shop. Granted, you two might be obese all the way to whatever, but you are never be in many shoes. A, B, y'all might have the same similarity since y'all like overweight and she's small. You average size. You don't know that girl struggle what she go through. You don't know what she go through, how she feel, how much low self esteem she got, how she feel depressed about her not going through this diet plan, her not. Being able to go through it, I mean, lady, you was all the way fucking wrong. At that point, when she was confronting you in front of Sam, you should have been there, been there, been that supporting role for um, um, Minnie and told her, look, I'm sorry. I know I can't go through what you go through, you being a little person and you being overweight, breathing hard. People laughing or eating or picking at you in public. And I know I never experienced that being a little person in other way, but I'm here for you. Let me support you. Let me help you lend you a hand. It's like you so rude and disrespectful. And you basically took her crying out for her needing some support and turned it and said, I'm going through the same thing. I'm big just like you, too. I'm going through this, too. I can't lose weight. I'm trying to lose weight. How did this turn from many and hard problem to you and your problem? That's what I mean that you not there emotionally support for that girl when that girl need emotional support. Because it's funny how this was supposed to be about many, and then you turn it turn to your bull in the shop, trying to, trying to shop ass. Like, how you going to turn this against many and put it on you like you the damn victim when y'all both in well, Sam, you ambushed this girl, had this girl thinking she had you as a good friend, and you were going to keep her secret with your messy ass. Is, and you end up going setting this girl up on an intervention to try to stop this big grown ass girl from having a surgery. Again, her body, her money. She old enough. She grown up to sign on papers. What do you think her mama going to do by stopping her from having this surgery? Because she can't stop her. Matter of fact, she can go off and have this surgery without her mama being around. And when her mama do come pop up to her house, all you know she could be on the sofa hurting. So, why did you thought that was a good idea, messy ass? Inviting her mama, sitting her up like that. If I was men, I would have popped you. I'm sorry. Your house, my house, whatever. We would have been fighting. And I wouldn't have given a goddamn if I would have lost. I would have had to deck you in that situation because that was kind of shitty how she trusted you as a friend to let you know in about her life. Then all of a sudden you turn that shit around and then you inviting her mama, setting her up, trying to stop her from having a surgery. And then this bullshit excuse you use talking about some, oh, I was looking at her for as a friend, I was there for her. For her. I wanted to be there to stop plan for her health, and I didn't want her to die doing the surgery or the procedure. There's a lot way, a lot of more ways you could have done it besides setting that girl up like that. Now I understand why Minnie was mad at your ass. And like I said, if I would have been Minnie in that instance, your ass would have got popped in your nose, and I wouldn't have cared. You would have worn me out in your own house. That would have been a risk I would have taken, cause you did that was. You betrayed that girl trust and it was kind of effed up how you did that. And you been messy. You always been messy. I kind of like you sort of, kind of. But your mess was all over the scales this episode. I mean, you was super damn messy this episode. All the way messy, all around the mess. You messy for telling on Minnie. You were messy for telling on fake ass Tanya and her fake ass lies that she got exposed at, at that table. And all she can do is run away because she the heat got too hot for her ass. And you know she didn't have that baby and had no business being out there in that public anyways out there with that air with her poor still still open, and her womb still open, and still freshly, she, let's move along, because I'm about to get mad all over again, now Amanda, to your ass, 
Now, I like the fact that you went and you went in this little nail play where you can practice on doing nails because I guess you didn't find your call in doing nails now all of a sudden and you invited um, money and your sister there. I like the fact and that this woman best to get you apprenticeship for the kindness of our heart. Her ass didn't have to give you that. Then you come in and how you missed apprenticeship from you gonna be doing somebody nails to get that girl a quick lawsuit by giving somebody an infection or messing up somebody nails or have somebody bleeding to death where you then cut somebody nail wrong or gave them an, an infection from cutting the nail wrong, doing whatever you had to do with the nail like. I don't know how you missed those two up like you were going to walk in the door doing nails and you know you ain't got that nail damn single experience and doing nobody nails. You ain't even got a license. You you might have did a quick little 10-minute class and now you ready to do... Okay, Amanda. I see where you at and where your head at and where you operate at. But anyways, though... And then I noticed as watching the episode, as the episode progressed... You fell some type of way and felt kind of angry because she decided she told you to sweep and dust and all that. And you, oh, hell no. I ain't sweeping. I ain't dusting. I don't know who she think I am. Is she trying to take advantage of me because I'm a little person? Granted, you did go out there and talk to the woman. You did feel some type of way. You controlled your mouth this episode. I would give you that when you did kind of control yourself in that situation. The first time in a long time since I don't know how many seasons, you actually did control your mouth and you actually did pull that woman to the side, took her outside, and used to like, look, I'm a little person. I didn't know I was going to do all this. I thought I was going to jump in doing the nails. The woman told you, no, you wrong. You not going to just jump in my shop doing nobody nails, getting me no lawsuit, having me going to court, being tied up in court, trying to pay somebody y'all, but they won't have my business, giving my business a bad yep review. Granted, you did tell her, I don't know where you got there, but you were going to jump in somebody's shop talking about doing their nails, but the woman did talk to you, and she did handle you with gentle hands, and she kind of did tell you, like, look, you're not going to jump in doing this. I want this to be you. Especially she giving you experience and told you it don't work like that, that we going to um, start you off doing low-level stuff. And each time you do a good job or each time you can move up in the rankings, and then maybe we can get you more experience in doing nails. She did help you out or uh, calm you down with that because you thought you were being used and then she um, secured that and told you you not being used and I understand where you coming from but no I ain't using you just for that and just cause you think it and another thing I understand you little people have a problem with people using y'all or what now for their own personal game and vendetta and they make y'all look a fool however but not everybody nasty, grimy, and a snake like that. Y'all need to lay off that. I, I understand where you come for granted. I might feel that way too. But not everybody ought to get to take advantage of y'all in or use y'all like this. Y'all use that line too many days. Y'all use that line too much for me for my liking. Granted, I never experienced y'all and go through y'all live, but it's just like y'all use that too much for my like. I, I'm just saying, though, but... Then they little um after the nail thing, she went and talked to Amanda. Yada yada yada. She I feel sorry because you ain't there. Nah, I got to go and I got to do this all on my own. Cause Kristen got you pregnant. One thinking about our careers and he didn't win another than you. And now you stuck with a baby. Now I got to do this on my own. And Amanda, yes, you do need to find your own career path away from Amanda. Cause Amanda always gonna pop a baby out for Chris. This her third one from Chris, so you better go ahead and find you another option besides the tiny twin, and hell no, I ain't looking forward to no reunion because it it's only going to be short lived before Chris end up come, before Chris end up making y'all individuals again. 
just like when the first episode, the first season started, when this first season started, he had y'all separated. You didn't even want to see the girl how what since episode two. So I'm not looking forward to a reunion when Chris want to tie in the notches again. All you have to do is say, I want to be away from your family and your sister and like a dumbass, you're going to give it to him. So I ain't ready for no reunion. I'm going to do your thing. Forget what Andrea saying about a reunion. Throw that all out the window. It's not going to happen. And I wouldn't hold my breath if I was you. Now on to the main event. Tanya, if I thought I didn't like your ass, when they first introduce you to your ass, I really, 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 really don't like you. And I really, 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 really don't like Sam ass. Y'all two are so messy, shady. I wouldn't want y'all around me. Y'all two can do nothing for me. After y'all have another baby, talking about a baby shower, y'all throw y'all own baby showers and invite me. Matter of fact, if I do something for y'all, I expect the reimbursement from y'all two helpers because y'all two are the most shady and evil helpers I ever met. And Tanya... You was a lot of defending yourself, but I ain't see you making no points and you defending yourself. Granted, I did get you points for the whole Juicy thing, because Juicy is messy, and that mouth of hers ain't no telling when it's going to go left or when it's going to hit her right or going to give you a right hook or uppercut and knock you out. I give you that one with Juicy. Money overreacting. Really, that's your biggest excuse you got for money. Really? Okay, let's move along. You said the tiny twins, they guilty by association. Okay, many, y'all ain't friends like that. And you said y'all ain't friends like that. And something else that they said, she got loose lips or some bullshit she said. You said Juicy got, um... But, yeah, you let Sam in a barrel around your child. Uh, Minnie and Juicy, Money and Juicy, when it got shots, thinking that was going to help them be around the baby. You still wouldn't let them around that baby. And they didn't throw baby showers for you. Hell, last season, they even threw a... Um, they threw a baby shower for you. Money threw a baby shower for you. They done did all this BS for you. And you had the audacity to make them go get shot. Well, I don't know if you made them go get shots or whatever. I still ain't got the understanding of did you make them get shots or was this they thinking like she a hell freak. We should go get shots. Cause it was me. Hell, for if it was me, I wouldn't see that baby till that baby one or two years old. You would have told me, even if you did tell them they had to go get shot to see your baby. I would have told you, and no certain words or less, you can go fuck yourself or go to hell and I ain't going to take nothing for you just to see no damn baby. You know how many babies born, and you know how you know how many babies born in an hour, and now I got to do all this special treatment to see your baby. That's going to be one lucky ass baby. If I ever go get a shot just to see your damn baby. And then the way you backpedaled and pussy popped at that damn table when it was getting your ass together. And then Sam messy ass then told on you. And then... And then you got yourself out there in the air for an hour. You knew it was going to be some shit because they didn't see the way you felt about all of them because they didn't get to see or hear all this just shit. They just not seeing that tonight how you really feel about all the girls except for Bill and Sam. They all know how you really feel about them. And I hope they tell you a new asshole at the reunion because you better deserve that. You are one shady nasty helper out there. All them things, them girls done been in there. Granted, y'all didn't have y'all ups and downs and like money. I'm with money. I thought we was cooling in there. Yeah, money might be a little over dramatic and might overact the stuff, but who wouldn't in the instance of that? Like, you wanted money the best to watch a baby come out your ass. 
I'll be like money too. I don't want to see no baby come out your ass and I don't even much like women like that. I'm with money. I don't want to see that. I, yeah, you probably would have had me there talking about a baby coming out your ass. I probably would have been like money too shit to be quite honest with you. And then you had the audacity to go talk about some cold, calm, zen. You know how they act around a whole bunch of people and... What she said, you know how you act around people, and you know y'all people don't know how to act them. Now I'm talking about Juicy, up there smiling out at the table. And now I'm talking about Juicy, and I love that every damn minute of it, how every time you try to thought you had wiggled your way out that bag, they stuff your ass right back in that bag. I love that every damn minute of it. Every day I'm in it. But wait, wait, you told them to go get shots for they can help, for they can come see your baby. But, but wait, wait. Sam said you was messing. You ain't what us wrong, your baby. You wanted us to be zen, calm, and collected. But wait, 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 though. Money said, money said, I, you know I don't act like that. You know I've been calm and I wouldn't have said nothing to such and like this. I love that every day I'm in it, how they got your ass together. Every time you spoke and opened your mouth, somebody had a comment for your ass and all you could do that sit there and smile and look stupid. You deserve every bit last of that. Granted, you didn't deserve the way Juicy was talking to you about that baby, though. That was messy as fuck, Juicy, though, but the way she said you messy, the way that she did that standing, the way she sucked this up, Juicy, I'm all here for your mess because she basically deserved it. The way how she said that shit, hell, she had me kicked off and I ain't even must get through half the episode. Just the fact the way she said this shit, she ticked me all the way to F off and I want to say something to her and this ain't even much effect in my life and I'm already hot and bothered about this shit and I don't even much know this lady. I can't stand that and I don't even much know this lady. So, Juicy, even though you was messy as hell and yes, you did a little bit too much talking about the three males in the three baby. Then calling her talking about interchanging these males, Nico and Vaughn. I'm all here for your messiness. Hell, she called you messy. Hell, you didn't went and got yourself shot and she didn't want you to see the baby. So I'm all here for it, Juicy. You basically got her ass together, money. You got her ass together. With Jabba the Twins went and shut the hell up, cat dog. Like every time she went to answer a question, one of the twins had another a question for her ass to answer. I mean, it was complete nuts at that table, and I can't say I feel any type of sorry for you, Tonya, because you basically was shady through this episode, and uh, the way you basically told all, basically the way you told Vaughn how these girls is and the way they act, and how you didn't walk them around because they bad juju and the way they act, and how they get together, how messy they is. I can't say you don't deserve half of that what you got because you basically deserved all that and more like I hope this episode got your ass together and I hope you realize how messy and shady you was then and be around happy to celebrate this baby with you throwing you parties throwing you baby showers giving you free stuff for your baby then when the baby get here then you want to be a shady helper I don't feel sorry for you at all you got what you deserve Tonya in my opinion granted Juicy was a little messy and she have to do the Maury bullshit and all that that. Granted, all that, Tanya, you got what the fuck you deserve, and I don't got now ounce of sympathy for you because I don't like you. It ain't the fact that I don't like you. It best the way I don't like how you set this shit up and how you said what you said. And then when you get to that table, you best the quiet as a church smile and best the backpedal and pussy popping with a big ass smile on your face. Like you just ain't wasn't shady at them people at home with Vaughn while you was talking to Vaughn in the house being shady. So you got what you deserve in my opinion. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.